Since the end of Mao Zedong's leadership in the 1970s, the People's Republic of China has become one of the biggest economies in the world. Although they still call themselves communist, the inner workings of the Chinese government are a mystery to many. So how does China's government actually work? Well, China has operated under a single political party since the birth of Communist China, called the Communist Party of China. Although eight other minor parties exist, they are not allowed to challenge CPC policy. This situation paints China as an authoritarian country where political dissent is punishable by lengthy prison terms or exile. China is also one of five major nations in the world to retain a communist ideology. And while most businesses are owned by the state, China has been implementing capitalist policies and allowing companies to privatize. In reality, China is more of a mixed economy than a purely communist country. Additionally, many government officials are elected for their technical expertise, making China in some ways a technocracy. This series of political compromises explain why China is economically much more successful than other communist countries of the past. With just one political party, there is more cohesive legislation allowing China's government to react quickly to market trends. Their communist ideology also lends itself to long-term economic policy, which has allowed them to prosper at the expense of regulation and workers' rights. China's government is infamous for corruption, ranging from racketeering to bribery. In 2015, a former security chief was sentenced to life in prison for bribery and abuse of power. Also, punishments for threatening the party's dominance are so severe that China is ranked among the lowest nations for press freedoms and human rights. In the end, China's government has been successful on paper, but not so much in theory or ethical policy. As an authoritarian government, China sees mass censorship of unapproved ideologies and is one of the largest jailers of journalists in the world. It's clear that being the second largest economy in the world while juggling strict ideologies comes at a difficult price. China's government is actually not too different from the socialist government of North Korea, China's next door neighbor. To learn more about the charade of democracy in the hermit kingdom, check out this video. Each candidate runs unopposed, and anybody who wants to vote against the candidate has to use a special booth. Since North Korea publicly executes its citizens for any anti-state actions, this is not a good idea. Thanks for watching Test Tube News, everyone. Make sure you like and subscribe so you get new videos from us every day.